All right, guys, we're Hollywood Studios today, right? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. This is so neat. Waiting to go on one of the Star Wars rides, huh? Yeah. Dude, this is like so, so cool. It's like the Ewok Village. Yeah. Go passing through all the different areas. Yes, I know exactly what I'm doing, but you worry about me. 1401, I'm getting a critical reading on your laser cannon. Shut down. Get in here. Oh no! What have I done? What have I done? Disconnect the water. Attention. Arriving passengers can claim their baggage on level one. It's a speeder. I'm gonna see if it. Oh, one of them is standing up. Levitating. Yeah. Alright, so we did the adventure continues. Yeah. That was like the first Star Wars ride ever. Pretty awesome though. Yeah. Like I totally dug it. Now we're in line for the Millennium Falcon ride, right? Yes. Yeah. And the cool part is, it's not that long, about, about 45, 50 minutes, just like everything else, uh, because of the restrictions. So you get to kind of, while you're waiting in line, just go through this whole town here. Yeah, it's totally awesome. So we're gonna um, take some shots along the way, going through this little village, while we're waiting to get on the next uh, awesome Star Wars ride, dude. There's Kylo Ren up there. It's awesome ship. Yeah totally awesome when you go through waiting for the Millennium Force ride. It's just all this stuff. Wow, look at this. There it is, baby. There's the Falcon. Wow, that's amazing. It's getting fired up. Something. very long when you got all this awesome stuff to check out in there. Uh oh, the Millennium Falcon. Oh no, those are very fast and very profitable expeditions. All right, dude, we're actually in the Falcon now, right? This is like my dream. <laughs> How cool is this, man? Dude, wouldn't that be awesome if just like Chewie came out of one of these portals? I would probably think. <laughs> that would be cool. So amazing, dude. Dude, how cool is that? That is actually the chess table. The famous chess table. Wow. The Falcon is way bigger than the Falcon. Like from the movies, I can tell it's pretty big. It's like big, being yeah. the size. The Falcon is the stuff. Look at this, man. We're in it. We're in the Falcon. What do you think, baby? I love it. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be 
intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Dude, we're right here. We're in the Millennium Falcon. No, you go up there, I go last. Wow. Awesome was that, guys? Flying the Millennium Falcon. Totally, totally awesome. This is an incredible ride, guys. This just keeps going, huh? Like even when you leave the ride. Wow. This is amazing. So that was totally incredible, huh guys? That was so cool. That was amazing. I mean, we were in that little cockpit there, basically virtual reality. Pamela was flying. I was smiling. Jack and I were gunners. When you hit the buttons, it actually shoots lasers. Yeah, and everything in there is so detailed from the hallways to everything. It's truly amazing. Huge, awesome, absolute must ride for any Star Wars nerd yeah. and non-Star Wars nerds. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It was incredible. Dude, how cool is this? You got like stingray and fish and stuff. <laughs> it's like the Alien movies. fish. Yeah. Dude, we're totally eating inside the little mess hall next to the Millennium Falcon. And it's just like being in like a Star Wars cafeteria. Yeah, how cool is this? Look at all this awesome vegan stuff, huh? It's amazing. So this is plant-based spaghetti with broccoli. And this is hummus. Look yeah. how beautiful this is. Black it's got hummus. vegetables and stuff. Wow, and what's this? They got plant-based like meatballs. It's like a falafel type of... Look at all this stuff, man. And then you got some kind of mufa juice. Yeah. <laughs> totally impressive, man. Wow, look at this. How cool this is. So they set us over here at the bar, which is actually kind of neat. We pretty much ordered everything on the entire plant-based menu, didn't we? Yes. Want to try it all. Very good, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, this black bean hummus is killer. It's got like crumbs on it, veggies. This is like a pesto type of hummus. Incredible. Vegan meatballs. What do you think, Pamela? This is so amazing. It's like super good. The best, nice. I think the best we Yeah, this is like the best meal we've had. I mean, it's really plant-based. A couple of little mock meat meatballs, but that's about it. I mean, this is real good, awesome plant-based stuff here. Lots of hummus. They give you waters, tons of veggies. No fruit, but you got this fancy fruit juice. Really, I really like impressive. Pine, I think it's like Hawaiian punch mixed with pineapple mixed with like orange uh, juice or something. Super good. Look around here. This is such a cool mess hall. I mean, this whole Star Wars thing, it's just like you're in the movie. Totally. So cool. It's just like you're in a spaceship, man. How cool are these doors and stuff? This is so neat, man. Super cool, super cool restaurant. Favorite restaurant yet. All right, so here's the cool part, guys. The new big ride, in case you are not aware of this, if you come to Disney, Rise of the Rebellion? Rise of the, Re Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance. Okay, the big, huge, new, unbelievably awesome ride. Oh, has such a massive demand that even at only 35% capacity here, you have to get online and there's two time slots. You gotta go through the Disney app, download it on your phone, 7 a.m. Disney, my experience Disney app. Yeah, my experience. Okay, 7 a.m. or 1 p.m. It's the only two times. We were just sitting here in the park at 1 p.m. The whole entire park was silent and everyone's just Refreshing the app on their phone, literally silent throughout the entire park, refreshing it, and then if if join pops up, you click on it, and then you get in line. We got in line. It's a three-hour wait, but the app will tell you when to go you over. You don't have to wait in the line, which is the best part. Yeah, the app will tell you when to go over. We got in relatively Woo! early because Dad's got a, a fast thumb, doesn't he? Yeah, sound really excited like Mr. Beast, but it's just really cool. Yeah, so I flicked it. Got us in, bam. So now we got about three and a half hours to goof off and then we're gonna go do the 
We did all the other Star Wars rides. Yeah. So anyway, do that. If you come here, try to get up and do it at 7 a.m. Um, because, you know, by 1, obviously, there's more people doing it. I tried to do it at 7. It didn't work. So lucky we got in. We'll see you in about three and a half hours. All right, there's the stormtroopers right behind oh, us. they're going to hurt us. <laughs> they're pointing people out who aren't wearing their masks. They're like, put your mask on, right? Mask patrol. This place is so... Oh, look, he just gave me a... Give me one of those. <laughs> What's up? I'm so cool. I'm a stormtrooper. Could you imagine doing that all day? How cool would that I job be? Do that. I want to do that. Do you think those suits are air conditioning? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they're white at least. They're going to reflect. <laughs> Kylo Ren was out here a minute ago. He's probably cooking. He's probably why he had to go back and change. Sorry. No. No. Yes, sir. Run away. Oh, they had to go. Got a mission. All right, while we are waiting in the virtual line for the Rise of Resistance, we're going to check out some of the other stuff here. Hollywood Studios, the Muppet uh, Theater, and all that kind of stuff. But we do want to be real for a minute here, don't we, buddy? Let's just, let's just talk about something. Let's just be real for a minute. Yeah. We just went over here to the restroom, okay? Because Dad had to drop a Disney deuce, all right? We're I just going to be real. In, I don't go in public areas, but you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> That's where I was this morning. We got here early, all right? So let's be real. Dad had to do a Disney deuce. And here's the deal, all right, on the Disney deuce for dads. If you're going to charge $110 a day for a person to come to the park, Disney, let's be honest. That three quarters, okay, the three quarter width uh, toilet, toilet paper, it's like two thirds or three quarters of the width of regular toilet paper. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's about a leak. It's a really bad leak. Seriously. 110 bucks a day, give us the full width toilet I mean, you paper. You guys make millions every 24 hours. You've got to figure out something. <laughs> Let's just give the regular width toilet paper. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Without, can we do that? Let's throw that out there to Disney. Is it, is it, are you saving that much with chintzing on Let's the just, width of the toilet paper? Let's just try to do that. That's my example. Two thirds, three quarters, full width. Just give me the full width toilet paper, full man. Width. That's all I'm asking for in case I want to drop a Disney deuce. Thank you very much, Disney. So while we're waiting to go on the Rise of Resistance, we came over to the Tower of Terror. Oh. It's supposed to be pretty good, huh? Yeah. What's that back there? It's like a furnace. Maybe Freddy Krueger's in there. Rawr! So while we were waiting, we started playing the Freddy Krueger music, right? Yeah. Some of the people around us didn't think that was very funny. No, you had the max volume. The little kids singing. One, two, Freddy's coming. Perfect, perfect spot to do it though. Yeah. Alright, we're going on a tower. Tower of Terror. Yeah. Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. We're gonna check out some sweet sweet Star Wars beverages. Yeah, they look pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like a grenade, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. Transporting more droids. Yeah. All right, we made it to the Rise of Resistance. This is so cool. Going in the tunnel. <laughs> you guys ready? So exciting. Good thing Dad's got a quick metal thumb because I kept swiping the app. We're going through the tunnels, the rise of resistance. We got some space maps. Some space maps going on here. Figure out a way to take down the dark side. Yeah. Suit up over here, dude. Oh, I got the suits. I'm pretty hyped. I'm pretty excited for this. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to the next The resistance business. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base and I. 
will take it from you. We are need on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. All right, guys, rise of the resistance. That was so cool. So amazing. <laughs> That's like just being in the movie. Yeah. That's like being in the movie. The drop you with lasers. Totally in the movie. So get here and do this. Right? Yeah. So cool. Get in that pass. Get online and do it. That was nuts. All right, so just got out of the rise of the resistance, and they got this huge shop. Got to wait in line. Going to go in there and do some shopping, though. Get some cool stuff. Yeah. That ride was amazing, wasn't it? So good. Totally unbelievable. It's like being in a movie. Yeah. It's like being in the movie, man. Incredible multi-stage type of experience. Look how cool this market area is. Just walk around. Is this awesome, dude? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool clothing one. You want to dress up as Ray, Pamela? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Get some Star Wars threads. Yeah, that's neat, man. This is such a cool shop. Got a little puppet forks. <laughs> so cool. Look at all these light fixtures, man. So neat. 